Morning, Chaim. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm great. Listen, lately uh, I, w- I was having some, some conversation with some of our customers and, and you know, some of them, it was regarding uh, uh, DevOps and, and, and CI, CD processes. And some of them told me, you know, they don't like using uh, the traditional tools or, or, or sometimes it, it feels like, you know, doing too much or it's, it's, it's a bit too, uh, too, too time consuming to use the Azure DevOps or, or Jenkins. Now, um, I remember that, that once we talked about uh, uh, having, having used the uh, Azure uh, Deployment Center in app services, at least when it's regarding to, to web apps. Uh, um, yeah, I remember you, you play, played around with it some, yes? Yes. Let me show you a quick demo of it. Hi, everyone. I'm Chaim Dagan, and I'm a cloud infrastructure consultant in Sela. And I would like to show you the Azure Deployment Center, which is a centralized place for managing your application deployment into Azure services. It's a built-in feature in Azure App Services as well as AKS and it allows us to configure a straightforward application deployment in two methods. The first method is a CI-CD, which contains version control systems, and it will set up an automatic deployment for every new commit of your code. The second method is a manual deployment, and it means that you will have to push the application manually to the web application, and the web application will build and deploy it for you. I will demonstrate a quick CI-CD deployment for a simple Hello World application. So, you can see here a new web app that I've just created for this demo. And you can see that my application is not deployed yet. So, let's click on the Deployment Center blade and select GitHub for this demo. I already logged in and authorized the Deployment Center to access my GitHub account. Next, I will pick the build provider which will build and deploy my application to the web app. And I will choose the built-in build provider of Azure App Services, which is Kudu Build Provider. And now I will configure the repository of my application and the branch I want it to be deployed. And now I will hit Finish, and it's now creating a webhook trigger in my GitHub repository for every push event that will occur in this specific branch. And then it will pull the latest commit of my code and it will build and deploy it to the web app. Great, we can see that our application has been deployed and the web app is synchronized to any push event that will occur in this specific branch. So, let's say I'm pushing a new version of my code to GitHub. In this specific branch, the deployment center will be triggered and it will pull, build, and deploy the new version automatically. Great, it's completed. The new version has been deployed. And this was a quick demo of the Azure Deployment Center.